the question here is five topics a b c d e are to be discussed one topic on each day from monday to saturday so here we are supposed to arrange these five topics that is a b c d and e from monday to saturday topic a will be discussed before e and topic b will be discussed before d the next point is topics b and d will not be discussed on the first day that is topics b and d will not be discussed on monday which is the first day the next point is there will be one rest day denoted by f so as we can see here we have got five topics plus one rest day so that can be taken as six topics overall and six days from monday to saturday the fifth point is there will be a gap of two days between the days on which topics d and b will be discussed so there should be a gap of two days between topic b and topic d and the last point is topic c will be discussed immediately before the rest day the rest day will not be second or the fourth day so rest day cannot be second day that is tuesday or fourth day that is thursday so from these six points we need to make out the correct order of these five topics from monday to saturday so let us see how to do the complete arrangement as we know there are six days from monday to saturday so let us first list down all the six days that is the first day will be monday followed by tuesday then wednesday next comes thursday friday and the sixth day is going to be saturday and there are five topics a b c d and e the next point here is topic a will be discussed before e and topic b will be discussed before d so the only information which we can make out from the second point here is a should come before e and b should come before d but exactly where they will come is not given to us so we cannot place them on any of the days but let us just make a note of that point saying that a should come before e and the second point is b should come before d so there can be a gap of two days one day three days or four days between a and e the only thing is a has to come before e similarly b has to come before t the gap between b and d has not been specified so again there can be no topic between b and d or there can be one or two or three topics between d and d now let us take the next point that is topics b and d will not be discussed on the first day that is nothing but monday so let us simply indicate that b and d cannot come on the first day so we are taking that with a cross mark that means b and d cannot occupy monday but again we have no idea where exactly b and d has to come so let us simply move to the next point the fourth point is there will be one rest day denoted by f so now we can understand that there are going to be total six topics that is a to f where f is nothing but a rest day the next point is there will be a gap of two days between the days on which topics d and b will be discussed so we know that there should be gap of two days between b and d right so we can say that it can either be b with two days gap followed by d or the second possibility is d with two days gap followed by b so this is what we can make out from point number 5 but as we already know that b should come before d the second case is ruled out because it is very clearly mentioned in point number 2 that topic b will be discussed before d so now it is sure that b should come before d and there should be a gap of two days and the last point here is topic c will be discussed immediately before the rest day so topic c should come immediately before f that is nothing but the rest day so from this point we can say that c has to come immediately before f there is not going to be any gap between c and f and also it says the rest day will not be second or the fourth day so rest day cannot be second day that is tuesday and it cannot be the fourth day that is thursday so this is the information which we have obtained from the given statements now let us try to use this information and complete the arrangement let us start with this point that is there should be a gap of two days between b and d as we know that b cannot come on the first day we cannot have b here but b can occupy tuesday so if b comes on tuesday there should be a gap of two days that is wednesday and thursday followed by d the other possibility is b can come on wednesday so if b comes on wednesday there should be a gap of two days and then d comes on saturday 
and there is no other possibility for the arrangement of topic B because if topic B is taken on any other day let's say let us take B on Thursday and we know that there should be a gap of two days and then topic D has to come which is making topic D out of the week so we can say that the only possible arrangements are B on Tuesday with D on Friday or B on Wednesday with D on Saturday so this point has been used and we have also used this point that is topic B has to come before topic D. Now let us try to use this point that is topics C and F should come together. That means there should be two consecutive days available for these two topics. So let us try to see in which of these two cases topics C and F can be adjusted. Now we cannot adjust topics C and F on the first day Monday as we need two consecutive days. If we try to put topics C and F in this position, the problem is if C comes here, F has to come here. But F cannot come on Thursday. So this is not a valid case. And similarly, we cannot put topics C and F after D as there is only one day left out after topic D is discussed. So it clearly shows that C and F cannot occupy any position in the first case. So we can say that the first case is the wrong assumption. So let us now try to fit C and F in the second case that is B on Wednesday and B on Saturday. As we can see here there are two possibilities for topics C and F. Either they can come on the first two days or they can come in between B and D. But if we try to put C and F on the first two days F will come on Tuesday which is not allowed. So we know that C and F cannot be adjusted on the first two days. But if we try to put C and F in between B and D, we don't face any problem as C can come on Thursday and F can come on Friday. So very clearly C and F have to occupy the Thursday and Friday as their consecutive positions. So we now say that the arrangement so far is topic B on Wednesday followed by C on Thursday. So topic F or rest day on Friday and D on Saturday. Now the only left out topics are topics A and E. And the two possible days available are Monday and Tuesday. Very clearly we know that topic A should be discussed before topic E. So the only possibility is A should come on Monday and E should come on Tuesday. We cannot interchange A and E. So the correct arrangement now is A on Monday followed by E on Tuesday, B on Wednesday, C on Thursday, F on Friday and D should be on Saturday. So this is the correct arrangement of the given five topics with the rest today. So as you have seen here, we can do these kind of simple arrangements simply by following the given points in a step by step manner. First we need to extract the information from the given points and then try to adjust them on the given arrangement. Let us now take the questions asked on this linear arrangement. So these are the five questions asked based on the arrangement that we have just discussed. And since we know that this is going to be the correct arrangement, let us use this in answering the given questions. So as we can see the first question is what is the correct sequence of the topics including the rest day. We know that the correct sequence is A, E, B, C, F, D. So the answer for question number one should be A followed by E, B, C, F, D. So whichever option has got that as the sequence should be marked as the answer. The second question is which of the following is a correct statement. Now the first option here is topic A will be discussed on Tuesday. We know that topic A has been discussed on Monday. So we can say that option number one is wrong. The second option is discussion of topic C will be immediately preceded by discussion of B. So the statement says that C will be preceded by B. That means B should come immediately before C. And from the correct sequence we can observe that B comes immediately before C. So very clearly option number two seems to be correct. So we can say that option two is the correct answer. And once we have got option 2 as the answer, we need not waste our time in verifying the remaining options. The next question is, on which day will topic C be discussed? So from the arrangement, we can say that topic C has been discussed on Thursday. So answer for question number 3 should be Thursday. The fourth question here is, how many days gap will be there between the days on which topic E and B will be discussed? So we need to find out the gap between the days on which topics E and B have been discussed. From the arrangement we can say that there is no gap between topics E and B discussion. So we can say that the answer for option for question 4 should be 
option 1 that is nil there is no gap between the days on which E and D have been discussed and the last question is with reference to topic A the discussion on topic E will take place on which of the given options so we can see that with reference to A topic E has been discussed immediately on the next day so from the options the correct answer is option 1 that is immediately on the next day so option 1 should be taken as the correct answer so these are the answers for the given arrangement as you have seen answering these five questions hardly takes 10 to 15 seconds the only thing which we need to do is complete the arrangement in a proper order so friends remember that simple linear arrangements are easy to solve we just need to read the statements given in a step-by-step -step procedure and try to adjust the extracted information in the given arrangement